Let's continue with the next package, which says plastic PCB modules. Three pieces, six dollars. So it's quite a uh, a price tag. If we open it up, there are. Oh, these are not your regular microwave foil plastic thing. These, I think that these are actually. Oh, they're taped. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, my uh, knife is getting blunt. Might have to do something about that. So, what are these again? Oh, yeah, these are just. Uh, replacements for what were the replacements for? These Weber replacements. I thought they were, but these aren't. These are just regular back boost converter. Oh, this is a replacement. This is the replacement for the L7805. It's a drop-in replacement. I think it's a 5, five volt. Yeah, six and a half to 40 volts to five volt DC step-down converter. Which yeah, just allows a drop-in replacement. These are three and a half amps DC to DC 3.3 volt buck converters. They allow for an input voltage of Let's say, I think it was around 20 volts or something, but I'm not sure. Let's say input for yeah, four and a half volts to 27 volts, an output voltage of 3.3 volts, a output current of two and a half amps, and a maximal out maximal output current of three and a half amps. But these are still connected, so let's actually break them. Quite convenient that they labeled it on the back which voltage rating this is. So and also over here, five volt. So yeah, quite an interesting one. And right on time, we've got another package that just got delivered. So let's put this away. This is a DHL parcel. I ordered this from Amazon since yeah. It was about the same price as on AliExpress. And I needed to have it rather quick. This is a SD card reader, but this is a USB 3.2, I think it's Gen 1, SD card reader. So that means, oh, USB 3.2 Gen 1, yeah. So that means that this has speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second which is very quick and will hopefully save me a lot of time when transferring whoop, video files from my camera and this is needed in order to test a new project of mine which I'm I already did announce on my channel the CM 690 front panel mod which will hopefully uh, work so we can transfer video files like whoosh I needed to make a reorder because the first order that I made was apparently returned which I obviously did not do but anyways so the next one IC module, two pieces and value of one dollar and thirty cents. Let's open this. Yeah. This is the plastic that I meant. This this is microwave plastic or something. Or plastic that you're using to preserve your foods in self-sticky plastic. Now these are also those uh, AC to DC power modules, Ooh. but two remarks, they actually look quite fake, 
as you can see of the the print that's on there it's a lot dimmer and a lot more gray and the CE logo is a lot closer to itself or this one is fake this might be the China export logo but this is um, 100 to 240 volts AC to 5 volts oh no to 12 volts DC again a power rating of 3 watts which is quite low but then again it's really uh, really useful to have laying around we're getting closer well let's actually open this one international tracked now this is really weird because I know where this came from this oop, this came from LCSC and it did not go straight to the Netherlands no this went with the Royal Mail so it went to or this went came from no this came from GLC oh I spoiled the other one oh now this went with Royal Mail and that's really strange then yeah so PCBs and a two dollar PCB and mobile holder whatever the fuck this is well yeah so these are PCBs obviously uh, the, this one is for the front panel mod so they arrived they finally arrived and wow let's grab the original front panel and check if the sizes are about the same here is the original front panel there are no mounting holes like these on the replacement front panel but they're not used anyways so and this shoots right about fit which it actually does so the audio connectors fit which is a big relief because that was a lot uh, of work to get right and I think that the USB type C's yeah they're also matching look it's you can see them over here they are the same width as the ESATA port which is perfect the USB's are on the right position yeah, USB uh, 2.0 and 3.2 Gen 1 or the USB 3 header they don't really match now the PCB is a lot thinner this is by far the thinnest PCB that I ever produced and it's a four layer PCB so thin and four layer and that's due to I firstly want to create an edge connector uh, oh no there's still an edge connector in this box that needed to shove over the PCB so the PCB is inside the connector so that needed to obviously fit really cool really looking forward to this and I'm hoping that I did the pinouts right otherwise I need to reorder the PCB but looking at this it's it's quite small when you're comparing it to a screen now this time they, they actually did listen to the GLC 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 thing last order they didn't and they messed up big time uh, but this time they didn't so on to the next PCB now this is a PCB that I needed for quite a while and I completely forgot about it and then I ordered it and I messed up but this should work these are micro SD card PCBs but they it allows you to break out every connection so that you can insert this thing into a micro SD card reader it's quite thick actually so let me check if it fits all right I think I want to cry 
it's too thick did I not specify the thickness correctly that sucks yeah this really sucks yeah it's too thick oh here we go again so there I need to reorder them what a shame well I actually want to um, connect a NAND controller to this so that I can use a regular USB micro SD card adapter to actually read the thing the contents out so having spoiled the package before let's actually open this one now shall we now this is from LCS Oh, that was very tight. A lot of plastic and a lot of components. These components should actually match the components that are on the PCB. So these are the connectors that go over here. USB Type-C connectors. They actually look to fit quite nice. So that's uh, really good. And I do need to do some very advanced soldering. Because there are connectors or things underneath the, the thing underneath the type C connector that need to be soldered. So yeah, the type C headers, those are the output headers, yeah, the, those are output. So you plug your cable into that. And pre-ordered connectors, these are also type C. This is also a type C thing, but this is an input connector. As I mentioned, this is the connector that goes over the PCB and this connects to a cable that I've got laying around that I ordered a while ago and this well yeah from this point it actually also matches that's really good and now the final thing yeah, you can't miss those USB 3.0 now well, they actually appear to be a little bit bigger than the stock connectors and they aren't no they aren't yeah there are not any through but I can take them out I think that's for the, the the other connectors are a little bit smaller and you know I'm, you're scared of losing them but this one shouldn't be a problem so this one should fit right I think that the header is on the right position but I need to trim something of these little ground shield clips same as for the front so those won't fit unfortunately which is okay I can also just enlarge them the holes but the the data pins look to be on the same on the right position just perfect yeah those will fit except for the grounding uh, issue but so yeah now obviously I'm f first I'm going to actually test the USB before I will remove the audio connectors uh, from this PCB since otherwise it's a shame um, and I would risk the destroying those connectors so on to one of the final packages, unfortunately. Ooh. 
Now I'm quite curious what's inside this thing. Oh yes, a lot. Rotary encoders. Now I... Yeah, they're just rotary encoders. They're not, nothing fancy, but they're rotary encoders. Mounted on a PCB with the required uh, resistors. And includes a washer to mount it to a case. Oop. So, oh, it's soldered quite at an angle, as you can see. It's not really straight, but that doesn't matter a whole lot when it's needed to be fixed. So, yeah, I bought five of them. So, with a value of one dollar per piece. Really nice. And also the final package. This says IC module, four pieces and two dollars and fifty-two cents. So, what's inside this one? I can't remember already. It's, uh, oh yeah, now I do. I was running low on ESPs and I saw a lot of videos with the Wemos D1 Mini. So I thought by myself, well, I, let's just give it a try and we'll see if I like the board. Cause I do really like the Note MCU. I think this is the V3 version with the, it's the, the CP2102 serial to UART, not the CH4340. Since that's a lot bigger, it's, it's double the size or something. This is my favorite board. It's really compact. It has all the GPIOs that this thing could possibly have. And yeah, it's just perfect. And well, this I'm really curious. It comes with a lot of headers, so you've got a lot of options. And oh, it does come with an onboard uh, UART thing. That's good. And it also comes with a button. But I'm wondering if I need to press the GPL zero if I need to pull it down whilst I'm trying to program it. So, although those are really large, they give you all the possible options of headers. That's really cool. And of course the Wemos D1 Mini. Another one in here. So, I'm afraid that that's already it for this post bag. Now let me show you all the items. So these are all the Christmas XXL edition post bag items that I didn't know I was going to need and going to order, but I did because I needed them. And with this, I really wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I wish you all the best for next year. Let's hope that next year will become a lot better. Now let's see this way. It can only become better because these starts already worse with the COVID situation. So it will only become better. And I'll only make more videos. I'm really going to, to get this video thing going every week a new video. But it requires some planning. Uh, and also some feedback from you guys. So there are a couple of videos. I'm also going to make a video about the Linux project. I'm going to make a video about the front panel mod. And I'm going to make a video with this. This is going to be for a project that I do already have a name for, but I'm not going to, to say it yet. This will be quite an interesting project and I think that this will be a product that I'm going to need on um, maybe for this one. I'm not sure. Maybe. Could be. Could be. 
There's also another board from GLC PC bed that's coming this way. And yeah, I'll uh, keep you updated on that. I'm not sure which board actually looks better. The original or my board? Well, I think that JLC PCB recently upgraded their machinery because this looks a lot better than what I'm used to from JLC PCB. So guys, as I said, have a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy the time with your family and your friends. Well, actually, not your friends because we're on lockdown. I uh, wish you all the best and I'll talk to you next year. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them. And don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.